So what is WooCommerce? Well, WooCommerce, simply stated, is the most popular online store on the internet. It works with WordPress as a WordPress plugin, and pretty much you just can't go wrong. If you want to sell anything online, well then WooCommerce can do it for you. This is WooCommerce.com, and the best way to get started with it is to sign in with your WordPress.com credentials. Now, if you don't have those, you probably should simply because WordPress.com gives you access to Jetpack and a few other great tools that you probably should be using on your WordPress site anyway. So I'm going to sign in with WordPress.com. Go ahead and authorize that for WooCommerce. I don't have a WooCommerce.com account yet, so I'm just going to go ahead and merge those two. And this site is for me. They want to know a little bit about it. I'm just going to go ahead and put software for now. You can see some of the things that WooCommerce can handle. Physical products, digital services, tickets, memberships, other products from other vendors. How will people pay? Well, we're going to go with subscription and a one-time payment. But you can see pre-order, in-person, payment plan, and offline. That's pretty handy. How'd you like to install WooCommerce? Well, I'm going to install it on my own. So I'll go DIY and I'm going to go ahead and download WooCommerce. That's going to download for me. Now, I don't have to install it that way. We'll take a look at that in just a moment. WooCommerce is the most popular e-commerce platform on the entire web. You can see that here. 42% of the entire web uses WooCommerce. Now that changes a little bit. If we go to the top 10,000 sites, it's at about 13% if you look at WooCommerce Checkout and WooCommerce alone. Still bigger than Magento and still bigger than Shopify, even on the top 10,000 sites on the internet. On the top million sites, again, WooCommerce is by far the largest e-commerce platform on the internet today. That speaks volumes for what you're going to try and do with the plugin. Well, WooCommerce was launched in 2011. It was based on an existing shopping cart called JigaShop. WooCommerce started over in South Africa and it was purchased by Automatic, but that doesn't mean that people aren't extending it and working on it every day. It's a typical open source plugin. Now, as I mentioned a moment ago, WooCommerce powers a lot of e-commerce sites. How about Duracell and Ripley's Believe It or Not, just to name two. Well, let's talk about WooCommerce a little bit more. It's a freemium product. That means that WooCommerce is free, but some of the extensions or plugins you'll need to pay for. A great example of that is the payment gateways. WooCommerce comes with things like direct bank transfer, check payments, cash on delivery. PayPal is built in. If you want to add Stripe, well, it's a free add-on. But if you want to add Authorize.net, well, then that's a paid plugin. You can purchase it, and currently it's a $79 expense. The four customer payment options that do come out of the box, direct bank transfer, check payment, cash and delivery, and PayPal, those are pre-installed. But as I mentioned, there's just a ton of them that you can get for free. WooCommerce will work with most themes. We're going to install a theme called Storefront for our particular use today, and we'll do that in an upcoming video. So let's talk about all the things WooCommerce offers right out of the box. Security, it is absolutely secure. When dealing with e-commerce, you're dealing with a lot of money. So this is something that the maintainers of WooCommerce pay very close attention to. It has a large community of developers. WooCommerce offers shipping, taxes, SEO, coupons, reports, and analytics great customer management, and of course, support and documentation are available right out of the box and all for free. This is the storefront demo over at demo.woothemes.com storefront. And we're not gonna take a whole lot of time here because you can spend some time here on your own, but you'll be able to see all of the basic features and the advanced features of WooCommerce if you do spend a little bit of time here. And I'm gonna encourage you to do that even before you continue with the next video.